think, princess? You're covered in snow. Oh my goodness. Yeah, shake it off. Shake it off. What do you think? Are you ready to go inside? Yeah, you ready to go inside? There you go. Hi, buddy. Goodness, you're so handsome. Coming in? I'm playing in the snow. What you doing, baby? Getting your snow playtime in, Nala? <laughs> you don't want to go in there. You want to play. I still remember Nala's very first snow back at the house in the city, and she had a blast when she ran outside and realized what it was. <laughs> Her fur coat is thick enough. She has like three fur coats. The she laid down in it and just ate it and rolled in it, played in it. She's been our snow bunny. Uh-oh, the goats hear me. Are there rabbits taking refuge under there, Noel Bear? Where are you headed? <laughs> Which way are you gonna go? I think she treated chipmunk or a squirrel. Oh, did she? Yeah. The snow is so wet that all the trees and the roofs are dropping snowballs. She got smacked right in the back by it. Kind of scared her. Aww, poor baby. <laughs> Hi, princess. Are you going to let the birds out? When she came out with me earlier, she did not want to stay out here long. No. She was not having it. Yeah, I dried her off when she came back in. She was carrying a pretty good, pretty good snow load. Yeah. I do have to say, somebody sent us some head umbrellas, <laughs> and I walked around today uh, getting some footage of all the snow, and it worked pretty well. So thank you for that. You need to wear it the next time you go into town. Oh my gosh. <laughs> yeah. This is pretty. Yeah, it's beautiful really out of here. That's a pretty big smile on your face. What do you think, pretty girl? How are you panting? It's snowing. <laughs> or are you just breathing with your mouth open? She's like, yeah. I'm just breathing heavy. It's cold. Hey guys, welcome back to a snowy K&S Get Out. Where did this come from? I mean, that's how, that's how it goes in Southwest Missouri. It's yeah. literally 60 degrees last week and snowing this week. Yeah, but it's like what, 35 to 40-ish right now? I think it's supposed to get up a little over 40 and sunshine's creeping out this afternoon, so. What? Yeah, it's, it's just weird, man. I don't know. 
Boy, we got the uh, billboard up on top of the well house just in time, didn't we? Yeah, we did. Yeah, because it's warmer, it is a super wet snow, but it's very, very sticky and it's sticking to everything. But if you're under one of our trees <laughs> or a roof line, you're in danger of getting <laughs> snow dropped right on your head. Yeah. It's already happened. A couple of days ago, we had an uninvited guest on the land, not one that we wanted to see. We're gonna go up there. This snow, because it's a little wet and whatnot, you can't really track footprints in it like you could, you know, a real frozen snow. So it's not gonna be good for seeing if our guest came back or anything. But we had a little close call and Shannon came to the rescue. <laughs> she looks back like, you watching me? Yeah. Wanna see a cool trick? You ain't got no tricks. What are you doing? Looking for a good stick. You're so pretty, Nala. <laughs> she hears the snow dropping around us. Keeps thinking it's a critter. You're so pretty. All right, babe, let's get you inside so we can go get everybody fed, okay? Okay, I love heat. Man, it sure is nice walking on this path without all the rocks. Super soft with the snow and the pine shavings. Hi, handsome. You been playing in the snow? You're soaked, Herc. You're soaking wet, buddy. I don't feel it. Hi, bud. Oh, buddy. You don't feel the cold, do you? Oh. I love you. <laughs> Where has that honker toy been? He's like, do you want to play, Dad? Nobody else I, will play. I don't think I want that in my mouth. <laughs> what are we doing? I'm oh, you're about to eat. Yeah, I was going to say, you're going to get a paw in the face. You don't look as white when all this snow's on the ground. You got, you got a little dirt color to you. <laughs> I was falling forward and he's like, what are we doing? <laughs> Hi everybody. <laughs> oh, good guy. Let's go see some goats. <laughs> well, what are you doing sprucers? <laughs> Hi sprucers. There's there's snow on my hay. Man, that's a dilemma, isn't it? I don't like it. What are you gonna do about it? I'm probably just gonna whine about it till somebody gets it off of there for me. <laughs> it's kind of giving you a little bit of blockage. You think we could put this thing inside a shelter or something? Jeez Louise. I know, you'd think that we would have done that for you. <laughs> it is at least kind of blocking the snow. It really here. is. You're silly. Oh, look at Luigi. Good thinking, we. <laughs> well, you know, I got a brain for a reason. Oh, Herc's gonna want all the attention today. Maybe he should go on the walk with us. Yeah, that'd be a good idea. Days like this, the goats don't want to play with him or do anything, and so he just kind of has to get his own steps in, and you feel bad for him. So we'll get you out on the trail. What do you say, bud? Okay. Yeah, you support that. This is my favorite thing right here. Seen you guys with your heads sticking out the window. It's pretty stinking cute. Smart girl, Blue. Sorry, bud. You're a smart, smart girl. Yeah, I know, you're kind of trapped. She's like, I haven't even stepped foot outside yet. Oh yeah, she does not like the rain or the snow. Hi, Bluesy. How are you and the babies doing? I know you do not like wet weather, do you? Miss Daisy. How are we today? So pretty. Earl, what's up, buddy? Duke? Well, for a snowy day feeding, I feel like that went pretty smooth, actually. We can't always show it to you guys because we have to use all hands to kind of control everybody, but. Yeah, you've seen us feed in the rain before. This is pretty similar to that. Maybe not quite as bad. The well, this, the goats don't mind going out in the snow as much as they do the rain, I think. Yeah, it's very true. But they are. They are a little wet, aren't you? We're a little damp. Yeah, you're a little wet. Oh, I don't even feel it. Yeah, you do. You're silly. Did you just burp in her face? Always. Wait till she <laughs> smells that one. You're a handsome goat. You know it. Look at Spruce. He's already checking out the other feeders. <laughs> Did you get it? And no, we didn't get all of it on film, but yes, Blue got her fair share of food. 
and the babies were in there cuddling with each other, probably waiting on her to eat, because she typically eats and then nurses. <laughs> we learning what to do with the hay bag? Look how big you're getting, Daisy. Probably helps that you're standing on a hay bag, huh? We'll get you some more straw, buddy. I know. He's tasting everything. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. Earl, you got something on your face, buddy. <laughs> what is going on here? Love his colors. <laughs> Are you nibbling my finger? Duke, are you passing Earl for their most sociable gutlet? Today you are for sure, huh? Yep, you're not gonna get any milk out of that, I promise. Does this surprise you? Not at all. <laughs> what are you talking about? You know, I did just find spruce in the other shelter though. I need to go grab that hay feeder and fill it up before this guy eats all this hay. Trying to make it so the goats can jump up there? Yeah. I don't think Kirk wants the extra cold installation. I don't either. He says thank you. Hey Hercules, do you want to go for a walk? There's snow on his forehead. He's like, I'm ready, I know this word. Love you. Love you. We'll bring him back. Spruce is a little jealous. <laughs> Hercules. Oh my goodness. Do you want to come with us? Spruce, you want to come? Yeah. Bring him with it. Come on, Spruce. Can you come with us? Come on. Can you come with us? Come on. Sprucers, can you come with us? He's conflicted. Okay, I'm gonna let you back in. He's like, there's nothing to eat, Dad. Yeah. All right, Spruce, come on.
He doesn't have as much of a problem with the birds when they're not down there in his pen. Yeah. Or as long as they're not fluttering around and teasing him. You were determined, weren't you, Gray? So I was in my office editing Saturday and I text Kyle because the birds were going off like crazy. And I've learned when they start alerting, it's time to check on them and see what's going on. So I came out of my office and started heading up the hill and I didn't notice it at first. I didn't notice until I got a little bit closer, but right up here, there was a coyote and all the birds were up in this tree over here, just squawking and going crazy. There was only one on the ground and it managed to stay away from the coyote pretty well. But I ran down to the camper and I told Kyle, there's a coyote, gotta get outside. So we grabbed some of our sticks that we have, you know, the freedom sticks. And Shannon came running up the hill, got them out in the woods, but a lot of times they'll run out there and then they get about 40, 50 feet deep at least, turn back around and watch you. Yeah, I couldn't get a clear shot. I think that was like 2.30, 3 o'clock in the afternoon. It, it was, was broad day. daylight. Yeah. Just a few days prior, we took Nala and Herc around on the trail. And when we got up here to the top, they both stopped and alerted at something on the ground. And I noticed it was a uh, scat that had a lot of little fur in it and everything. And so I think he's been scoping out the area, you know, and Chad and Ray even say like, it's known that if coyotes are out in the day, there's a good chance that they may be rabid or sick or something's not right with them. So we're keeping a good eye out on that. I grabbed a few extra sticks and went around the <laughs> <laughs> went around the trail and obviously I couldn't find him and the wind was behind me so he knew I was there before I even made it in there but yeah put us on high alert for uh protection and safety of our birds I think that coyotes are in heat right now I think it's mating season yeah so I don't know they're on the move but everybody was safe Shannon saved the day and then last night as we were going to put the birds up we had to put them up a little bit early to make it to a Super Bowl party they would not go inside. It was so frustrating. We ended up leaving three out and we're super worried the whole time that they weren't gonna make it, you know? Fortunately, we were with my family, so they were understanding that uh, we needed to get home a little bit early to make sure we got these guys into safety. And when we got home, they all were gathered up around the door, just waiting to go inside. We'll keep you guys posted if we keep seeing that coyote. I'll probably have to put the camera up and start scoping it out a little bit. He just doesn't feel the weather. He's built for this. So I have to say, this already looks super different than it did this morning because it is 38 degrees and the snow is melting and dropping very quickly. Yeah, and the ground temperature is definitely above freezing because we had those warmer days, so. Yeah. This is just gonna turn into a sloshy mess, but it's pretty till then. Yeah. <laughs> Although, we're a little brave to be out here underneath all these trees because we're going to get smashed. Yeah, probably so. I am so thankful for our trail at a time like this because we don't have to duck and cover under all the little stuff and knock the snow off on ourselves. But we are a little closer to the back of the property, so you're going to hear the freeway a little bit. Sorry. This snow, like I was saying, it definitely is not a helpful snow in trying to trace footsteps or anything like that. Um, Herc has kind of alerted to a couple spots and he did even stop and sniff through the snow where that coyote poo was at the head of the trail but you know there's a lot of potential a lot of potential dens and everything there's so much opportunity for them out here and you know I don't know they travel I don't know them well enough I probably ought to study it a little bit more but we have had trail cameras out here and we've caught a couple of coyotes and Shannon, we studied those and Shannon said it was definitely a different coyote than that because those, both of those had a kind of a bobbed tail. Don't know what happened there, but, and we've got foxes, deer, raccoon, possums, all this stuff. But you got to think with Blue having her goatlets recently, a lot of smells. In fact, we started noticing, I call them the hooters and the screechers. <laughs> There's the two kinds of owls, like a barn owl. Yeah, I'm getting a look. There's like the barn owl that's the screecher and then like a barred owl that's the hooter. And we hadn't heard them in quite a while. Literally the day those babies were born, they were coming and hanging out 
on the east end of Goatville. And they were talking pretty early. So, you know, the, the goatlets are fine. They're not in danger. They would be to coyotes and stuff, but Herc's smell and his Herc bombs that he drops everywhere and his barking and his howling. And just look at the guy. All of it works really well together at keeping the goat pen and all the goats out of harm's way. But you also got to think that those smells, I mean, predators smell those from so far away. And that may have been what kind of drew the coyote here, or, you know, he's just been spying on us for a very long time. But we're going to keep an eye out. Well, it could be what happened to our white turkeys too. Yeah. The coyote could have taken them out. Yep. Which when I was talking to Stan, our neighbor who's lived out in the country and farmed and all that stuff, that was kind of his first indication. The moment I said it, he's like, yeah, man, probably the predators. So I don't know. We still don't know officially. We've not found any more evidence of what happened, but they got got. This is pretty. This is very pretty. Herc doing his job, man. Nose to the ground the whole time. Was something burrowed in there staying warm? Usually when he alerts, he leaves his back feet as far back as he can and he leans into it. If something jumps out of there, what are you gonna do? <laughs> probably scream as much as Herc's gonna jump he might jump back a little bit but then I think it's game on go, buddy. good boy big guy man we were just talking about all that spring weather we were getting and not to get used to it yeah brought this on ourselves we knew it would happen yeah I wish you could hear his nose. He sniffs so hard, it's thump thump. Hi, bud. <laughs> thump 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 thump. This is so good for him on days like this because it totally wears him out. Yeah, and those goats don't want anything to do with him when it's this wet out there. And he just wants to play. Making your own trail? Come on this side. Nope. No. Oh, no. Sorry about it, Mom. <laughs> Excuse me. Come on, buddy. Bless you. <laughs> Speaking of our little Super Bowl get-together, I don't think you can call it a party, per se. My family, most of them are in bed well before a game like that ended. So we were all lucky to keep our eyes awake. It was funny. But we got to see Chad and Ray's new home. And I have to be honest, we have kind of avoided some of the footage and stuff of it. And of course we've gotten personal pictures he sent over and, and all that stuff. But Shannon and I really wanted that first person experience to go and see it and it was gorgeous. It's awesome. We did not get to traverse his land. We didn't get there till after dark. We had to feed and everything before we headed over there. Uh, but I am excited to see what's going on out there. So here soon, we will take you guys over there and do our own little exploration. Maybe even sneak up on Chad. Don't tell him. Yeah, right. You don't sneak up on Chad. <laughs> you don't sneak up on Chad. Nobody sneaks up on Chad. We'll see. Very, very excited for them and the progress and glad things have gone well, you know, moving forward. And it's just, it's a really neat place and it feels so cool out there in the woods and similar to like what it is out here it's gonna be a lot of fun but yeah loved it out there the question always is is herc ready to go back in the pen or does he fight it a little bit i think for animal crackers he'd be pretty willing if he had to <laughs> he plays like he doesn't know where he is but he knows good boy hercules come on bud that's a good boy that's a good boy yeah 
I know. I think Spruce is happy he didn't come with us, Herc. Yeah. Come on. Let's go, Bubba. Good job, Good big job. guy. Hi, Goaty Goats. Good job, buddy. Did you miss your friend? Spruce, are you glad you didn't go with us? Herc, where you been, man? I've been guarding all these silly goats without you because you ain't here to do your job. Bum. <laughs> Tell them what you're really doing, Herc. Oh, thank you. <laughs> guarding everybody I'm on the outside, huh? Yeah, we got to keep them all out from out there, right? How's everybody doing? Some of you are drying off a little bit better. I hear bear. You're okay. They're all fluffed up again. <laughs> they are. They're all a little bit drier though, because it's, I think it's stopped coming down. Like it's not snowing whatsoever. Yeah, it's it's just all the trees dumping it now. It's like 38 degrees out here, so it's melting rapidly. I'm gonna hold my weather app to its claims that we're gonna see sunshine this afternoon. I hope we do. It's kind of hard to believe, but then again, no, it's not. Besides, it is snowing, buddy. Well, it was. You got you got some animal crackers, mom? <laughs> Ma'am? I do. Do you think you're deserving? Very much so, but just me. Oh, well, we can't do that. Yeah, we can. Let's try it. All right. Well, we're going to go hide until all this is falling out of the trees. Yeah, won't be running the tractor or anything today. It's just way too soppy and wet. Yeah. Well, we're going to keep an eye out for the coyotes. I mean, we always watch our, our predator pressure, but that was a closer call than we've had, specifically yeah. with coyotes. Well, and that was... A very good lesson for me to know that when those birds start going off, you just go check on them. You just see what's going on. And sometimes it's nothing, but this time it was something pretty serious. Well, we've heard it enough that there is a difference. You oh, know, yeah. they do just kind of go off and talk every so often, or, you know, they'll be over here in the woods and they go off, but it's not, they don't draw it out and they don't necessarily all call at the same time when the coyote was going they were all going off everybody was going. and they were up in the tree i mean it was they were scared yeah so good job bird birds but yeah we had to know our bird birds to know that that was a distress call yeah i'm just glad we were home for it great job <laughs> all right guys well, we're gonna melt all this snow and then get back to it we love and appreciate you we thank you for coming along on this journey with us and as always we'll see you in the next one bye, bye.